some information that will surprise you. For the past 20 years, scientists have been studying tiny, beneficial soil organisms called mycorrhizal fungi that will change the way you think about growing plants. We've been delving into the distant past and we've uncovered a secret. It's time you know, and that secret is hidden right beneath your feet. Four hundred and sixty million years ago, no plants covered the Earth's surface. Compared to today, our land masses were barren and lifeless surfaces. Plants only existed in lakes and seas and lacked the elaborate root structures that they need to conquer the harsh conditions on the land. But around 460 million years ago in this ancient landscape, a miracle of sorts occurred. A marriage of convenience occurred between primitive plants and a specialized fungus that changed the world. It's the story of your plants and how they got here. Long ago on this ancient landscape, the specialized fungus entered the primitive root of the aquatic plant. The fungal thread secured its energy source from the plant, and in return, the fungal filament explored the harsh earth surface. The plant acquired the needed nutrients and water to sustain life from the fungus, and that resulting evolutionary leap allowed plants to inhabit the land surface and has shaped life as we know it today. We call this symbiotic relationship between plant and fungus mycorrhizae. The mycorrhizal relationship not only still exists today, but has become one of the most important relationships on Earth. About 90% of the world's plants form the relationship in their natural habitat. That includes most of our important forest tree species, nursery plants, and agricultural crops. The relationship is ancient, but it's only in the last few decades that scientists have come to appreciate the key role that mycorrhizal fungi play in the health and nutrition of plants. A good example is this redwood stand. These trees are 300 feet tall, 800 years of age, and 10 feet in diameter, and they grew here without irrigation, without fertilizer, without pesticides. How did they do that? Well, that's a question I asked myself 25 years ago. Hello, my name is Mike Amaranthus, and I'm a microbiologist. I began studying why trees and nurseries were stunted after fumigation. The soil fumigate killed the disease organisms, but they also killed the beneficial soil organisms like the mycorrhizal fungi. These trees were stunted because they lacked nutrients but the soil contained an abundance of nutrients. What was the problem? Without the mycorrhizal fungi, the plant could not access the reservoir of nutrients that were tightly bound in this soil. Adding mycorrhizal fungi to the soil rapidly allowed the plants to grow normally. I was fortunate enough to work with an exceptional man, Dr. Jim Trappy, a U.S. Department of Agriculture Forest Service scientist and an Oregon State University professor. Jim taught me about the role of mycorrhizal fungi and the powerful enzymes they produce in the soil to unlock mineral nutrients, capture them, and transport them back to the plant. We traveled the world sampling natural habitats in Australia, New Zealand, Thailand, China, Europe, Central America, Canada, and Alaska. Jim, along with the work of some other key scientists around the world, we're discovering a fundamental truth, that the vast majority of plants not only formed the mycorrhizal relationship, but they needed the relationship to perform optimally. So how do the mycorrhizal work? Mycorrhizal fungi attach to the roots of the plant. 
fine filaments then radiate out into the surrounding soil. They increase the absorbing area available to the roots several hundred to several thousand times. Better access to soil resources means better production. Several miles of these ultrafine filaments can be present in less than a thimble full of soil. Mycorrhizal fungi supply the water and the nutrients needed by the plant for establishment and survival. And in return, receive from the plant roots, sugars, and other compounds that are needed by the fungus. Mycorrhizal fungi excrete powerful enzymes into the soil that unlock tightly bound mineral nutrients such as phosphorus, calcium, and iron. Once they're unlocked, the same fungi transport those important mineral nutrients back to the plant where they can be utilized. Mycorrhizae provide many other benefits to plants. The fungal filaments take up and store water, they decrease drought stress during dry periods, and since they are much smaller than roots, they can easily penetrate into the smaller spaces between soil particles. These fungal filaments also bind soil particles into larger aggregates with organic glues. The resulting soil structure allows air and water movement into the soil and encourages root growth and root distribution. Mycorrhizal fungi attack disease organisms that enter the root zone in several ways. Some produce antibiotics that can immobilize or kill disease organisms. Others actually set traps for root feeding nematodes and strangle them. To achieve the benefits of the mycorrhizal relationship, they have to be present on your site. Research indicates it takes years, even decades for mycorrhizae to repopulate a construction site such as this. As a consequence, the plants do not have the natural tools that they need to handle environmental extremes, moisture stress, and disease. We now know that mycorrhizal populations have been lost where we've seen severe fire, compaction, erosion, grading, topsoil removal, tillage, paving, and pollution, and the use of certain chemicals. These conditions are definitely not the conditions that plants face in their natural environment. How do you reestablish mycorrhizal fungi once they've been lost from your site? Well, recent advancements in our understanding of mycorrhizal fungi and their requirements has led to the production of high quality, economical mycorrhizal inoculum at affordable prices. Mycorrhizal inoculum is available as powder, granular, gel, and liquid forms. It's easy to get mycorrhizae re-established on a site. You simply want to get the mycorrhizal inoculum in close proximity to the root system. And you can do that by simply sprinkling the, the inoculum in and around the root ball. Or you can even water the mycorrhiza in later after the plant has been established. But by getting the mycorrhiza established early, you improve the ability of this plant to perform and also decrease the maintenance costs in terms of fertilizer and water. When you reestablish mycorrhizae at your site, make sure you use mycorrhizal products that have a lot of species diversity. Having diversity assures the best plant performance across a wide variety of soil conditions and plant types. Our mycoplite products have been shown to be effective in over a dozen university and government studies in the last three years. University testing indicates our products to be of the highest quality commercially available. When it comes to customer service, mycorrhizal application has its focus on you and your needs. You'll find a dozen different product options including powders, gels, 
granular and liquid forms at affordable prices. We can also produce custom blends for your specific site and plant conditions. Customer satisfaction is our number one priority and the reason Mycorrhizal Applications has become the world leader in diverse quality inoculum production. I want you to take a moment and imagine your favorite plant. It could be anything, a garden vegetable, a flower, a towering tree. And I want you to capture the mental image of that plant. And now close your eyes and I want you to view your plant. With your eyes closed, does your mental image include the roots and the mycorrhizal fungi? If it does, you have a much better appreciation for the living soil and the secret that lies right beneath our feet.